What has Thomas Tuchel actually done since he's taken over? Yeah, and how, what positive influence has he had on this team? Because obviously Borussia Dortmund handed them uh, the title, didn't they, last year? And since then, it just seems to be moaning. You know, I wanted Paulinho from Fulham. I need a holding midfield. I want this, that and the other. There doesn't seem to be... I don't know. It doesn't seem to be much connection between him and his players. Which is fair that the manager uh, wants new players and he will see that as an unbalanced team. Maybe I don't have the right back. What is Davis doing on a left back? I need a number six. But you're right. Uh, the fact is that uh, the stats of Nagelsmann played in around 80, 84 games is much better or, now, or still better than Thomas Tuchel. Got, got them knocked out of the cup. Uh, as you were saying, they're winning the trophy, the Bundesliga trophy, but that was down to Dortmund losing it. And you can't see any progress now. And I say this with a, what do you say, a heavy heart or a... Or mm. a yeah, I, I say that because I rate Thomas Tuchel, but there's something going on at that club at the moment. There's something about the culture. There's something about when they run out on that pitch. It doesn't seem to have any consistency. It doesn't seem to have any way that they handle it with each other. And we could say, even that that was just before I came on now, I was reading an article. No, apparently they have the hurricane curse. The oh, hurricane no. curse. <laughs> yeah, Harry. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> that has already come. Harry Kane never won anything for Tottenham. He's going to Bayern. And now, ladies and gentlemen, oh. they won't win, win any title this season. That's how far we've come. Yeah, of course. It's, it's all, all Harry's fault in the end. Um, <laughs> <laughs> take a look at that. There it is. Uh, there is the headline, the curse. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, the sinister curse of Harry Kane. Um, Harry Kane's obviously been excellent this season, Jan. Which are the players that you feel have let this side down? Well, if we start from the back, we, we, we talk about Van Dijk playing for Liverpool, doing the players around him better. The problem is at the back, there is no way that Upamakano, De Ligt or Davies making each other good. They, they look insecure, they're conceding goals. In midfield, all this talk about the number six, Kimmich, who sees himself as a German captain, as a Bayern captain, his bonus at Bayern at, in Germany is gone. And he played now, but still, it, it was taken off after 64 minutes. Leroy Sané has been good this season. Harry Kane being good. Musiala, one of the best players. But the rest of them, this season, average. And I will also say, but I'm, I don't know how the boys see, the other boys sees this, but I, there's always a big challenge. What do you do with players that have been there forever, legends of the game, like Thomas Müller? I mean, Thomas Müller, should he play? He shouldn't play. Should he occupy a place in the team? I'm not saying that Thomas Müller is the reason, but there is something in the balance of that team that is not happening. And yeah, we talked about our man uh, Davis since it was, he was linked to Real Madrid. He hasn't done any proper defending, at least. And his famous run going forward are still missing in action. So there is a lot of things to sort out uh, at Bayern. And remember, in a couple of three rounds, they're playing Leverkusen away from home. That could be the title decider. It's interesting, Ali. You look at that starting eleven, and if we were to do one of our ESPN FC top 100s, mm. pretty much all those names mm. would be in that list. So you look and you ask, why are these players not performing to the level that we expect them to? Right, and it's interesting. You started this conversation with Thomas Tuchel and what his perception or position is at Bayern Munich. And part of being a manager at Bayern Munich, you sort of have to handle the politics of the club and the politics of the locker room, and locker room that was well established when he came in. At the very core of those of the politics of that locker room is a name that Jan mentioned there, Joshua Kimmich. Thomas Tuchel, since he came in, says we don't have a number six. Joshua Kimmich, by definition, is their number six. So what does Thomas Tuchel see him as? Well, he sees him as anything but. And, and, all right? and, so he, and he's made it a point. But what he hasn't done yet, and, and I, I think we're to the point now, if you don't think that he's your guy, then don't play him. Don't play him. Stop massaging egos then. Don't play him. Put him, out, put him on the bench. But he knows that that's a big decision to make. But we're to the point now... We're to the point now, if you're Bayern Munich and Thomas Tuchel, where you need to make changes, where you need to make adjustments, where you need to change the feeling of the locker room and the feeling of the team and say, guess what? 
We need the attention of everybody. And I don't care what you have done in the past in this club. I need you to perform at the highest level possible right now. So while he's sort of kind of sending messages here and there and everywhere, in actuality, he hasn't made the tough decision just yet. The time to make the tough decision is now. Is he doomed? Unless they can get some fresh faces in, it looks that way. I mean, other than Kane, this is the same team that struggled last year. And, and when you've got people like Kimmich uh, and Goretzka and other people who, who are not producing their very best, you have to freshen things up. And they haven't been able to. And so it's just continued. It's basically just continued. That's, that's the only thing I'll stick up for, for, for the coach has. Because sometimes you need freshening up. And, and they've gotten away with so much so far just because they've got Harry Kane up front. But they're going to need more than that. He was forced to freshen things up because of suspension by Joshua Kimmich and illness by Joshua Kimmich. And that happened to coincide with the best performances that we have seen from Bayern Munich this season against Borussia Dortmund, the destruction of Borussia Dortmund, and the destruction of Stuttgart away from home. Look, it's right there for you to see. Now you got to make the decision in which Rafael Guerrero and Pavlovich play through the middle and not Joshua Kimmich. That's a tough decision to make. That's a tough but, decision to sell. But if indeed you're going to go down, then go down with, with the players that you think can do the job for you, not hanging on to the guy who was there to begin with. 